What's up, John here? So I was going to say, um, the way I attached the uh, the, rope, the rack to the bus in my previous video a while back was lame. Um, I found out as I started cinching it down, it started kind of distorting the sheet metal a little bit, you know, kind of bending it in. Now look what's happening over here. This is starting to bow. And that's not good. Um, so I'm going to undo that. I would not suggest doing it that way. What I need to do is actually tie it into the frame. So I'll show you what I'm doing um, this time around. And it happens to be that I'm remodeling the ceiling anyway. So I'm going to do all this all at once. But I just wanted to do an update on the roof rack. Remodeling the ceiling in here, I'm doing what I should have done in the first place. And kind of gutting the panel. Most people just actually take this completely out. Um, and I may end up doing that. In the other room but I need to get this done right away and uh, these things here are a pain in the ass even though they're an allen head um, I had trouble with them they just strip out they're in so tight so uh, yeah actually as it turned out the first time I tried to unscrew those machine screws I was using my DeWalt drill as you know as a screwdriver but then my brother came to do my roof and he requested that I get a uh, impact driver which is one of these kind of looks like a drill but um, internally, the main difference is the impact driver, it, instead of just turning it, it kind of goes bop, 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 like that. And uh, so that tends to loosen tight stuff up a lot easier than a drill will. And, and it, to make a long story short, the impact driver, that just takes them right out. No stripping, nothing. And what I'm doing is, um, in that hollow spot there, I've got, that wants to be an inch and three quarters, which is kind of an odd size for lumber. I found this stuff. This is uh, one inch. It's not three quarters like it normally would be, and this is three quarters, so this makes an inch and three quarters. I'm screwing these two together and popping them in there, and that's going to fill that space. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to spray foam it. I'm like a three-year-old with the foam. I get it all over the place. But uh, anyway, foam goes in there. I kind of knock these guys in there. It's a nice tight fit. And uh, yeah. See how I'm doing this in here is I've got this uh, piece of angle. And uh, that's going to allow the roof rack to be tied into the supports under here. I should have done it this way in the first place. Um, and you can see I'm actually finally putting the ceiling on here. So that's actually a different project, but I'm doing this at the same time, conveniently. Um, now see what I'm doing here. I'm using these T-nuts. These are called T-nuts. And this particular ones I got from Wesco Performance. They sell seat belts. Um, you can probably get them elsewhere. But I had bought seat belts from them and I knew they had these. These are used for seat belts when you attach like a retrofit seat belt and you put this under the floor and this allows uh, me to um, so now at some point in the future if I want to take the roof rack off this is going to be all ceilinged off here so I don't want to have to tear the ceiling up to do it so that's why I'm using these it's a nut that you can basically you screw it into place and then put these um, screws in here to hold it so now if I take that bolt out not only do I not have to have someone hold the nut down here, um, I also don't have to be able to get to the nut. I could take the roof rack off, put it back, and this will still be here. And uh, you know, I could I could have drilled and threaded this stuff too. That's that'd be another way to do it. Or you can actually make these. Just take a piece of flat stock and cut it and drill it and thread it, which is what I've done before. But uh, these are easier to do it this way. And here's what it looks like in the bathroom when it's all done. I left them exposed in the bathroom. I guess that's it for this time. Uh, you all have a good one, and uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope to catch you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.